So hello, I'm Zoya. I'm from France and uh, hello Croatia, hello Balkans. Hi. I started graffiti like three, three years ago when, uh, in 2016. I was 16 years old and I was smoking a lot and uh, it's maybe not cool to say but I was like uh, selling some weed sometimes to have money and uh, the place where I sold the drugs war was a was a, a hall of fame so I I was always looking on the graffitis on the walls and the guys who were painting graffiti and so once uh, when I stopped smoking, I had to find something else to do with my life, I think. So I started graffiti, normally. So I stopped smoking, starting graffiti, so I think it's better. And I stopped selling weed, too. So starting a normal life, healthy life. And uh, that was the point. So like, yeah, 2016, uh, in June. Yep. Uh, my first tag was... I won't tell the name because my first tag uh, is always uh, a Vandal tag. But now my tag is Zoya and it's my, my name, my real name. And it was just because, like, when you try to find a name, it's always difficult because there is always someone who have that name, or in every country there is someone who have your name. So that's my name. That's the name with, which is written in my passport. So nobody can tell me anything. And Zoya is is a special name, so it can fit with it can, it can fit with graffiti, and it's like yeah, it's it's a name for painting. So that was simple, I think. Uh, uh, my first graph, graffiti, wasn't on the wall, it was on a, on a, I don't know how to say it, on a roller store or of a market. Uh, so Vandal Graffiti and uh, so it was in 2016, I remember the date, it was the 12th of June 2016, 12, uh, yeah, 12, uh, and it was on 4 p.m., 4 a.m. on the morning and uh, after I started to paint on walls, but I don't remember the first on a wall, so the first was on a store. I don't have a style, not yet, I think, because like I, I try to work on a lot of things because I have to work, I have to learn, so I I try wild styles, I try uh, block letters, I try throwies, I try tags, uh, everything, so I think I'm always working, always learning, so I started tr three years ago, so I cannot really have my style, I think. People say that I have my style, but I don't understand that. I, I, don't, I don't see my style, I cannot know. I, I don't know. So I think I don't have a style, maybe. Wow, for for me, graffiti is is a way of life. It's like really, it it's take all my time, all my life. Uh, I'm always thinking about graffiti. I wake up, I know that I will go painting. I will see some tags in the city. I will like all my friends are graffiti writers. I have like just few friends who don't write, but even. I don't see them a lot because I am always painting and doing some stuff about graffiti. 
uh, going on trips to to do graffiti I'm always doing that and that's like uh, like an old special way of autism I, I think I don't know but yeah it's really a way of life it's a um, um, how to say that it's a special world 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 yeah I think every graffiti writers real graffiti writers just do graffiti and not anything else or maybe old graffiti writers have like kids and women and or girls have a boy and kids too so they maybe stop at that time but now it's just my life my entire life is graffiti and I think it will continue like that because I don't see now what I can do if I don't do graffiti it's like I'm always thinking about that like if my hand is cut and uh, I cannot paint I think I will like not dying but thing like that and if I yeah if I have to to stop painting I think I could die because it's really my whole life and I don't know what I can do if I don't paint so that's that's the graffiti for me It, it depends because like if, we, if if I do a trolley it will be like three minutes to make the trolley and if I do usually when I paint like a real piece uh, it can take from two to five hours no that's normal like in winter I take less time because uh, there is the night coming and things like that but in summer it can be like from 10 p.m. to 18 or 19 it depends if, if I'm with friends and chilling and painting or if I'm solo usually when I'm solo it's faster but yeah it can take it, it can take a whole day but I never I, I it's re really rare I think it happens like two times that I paint for two days it's just because I'm really chilling with friends that I, I don't like to paint for two days because I, I think that you have to paint on the day and after the second day you have to do, to, to do another piece, to do something else. I don't like to stay and go on detail, small things. I like to do it like on, on the first time, like doing the piece and that's it. So I think the it's like yeah f we'll tell like four hours of working usually uh the hardest thing in graffiti for my eyes it's the big problem that i have because i do always big graffitis and i'm really small girl so i I cannot go and do the. I can do the filling with the fat cap and things like that, but when I try to do a proper outline, it's always too big for me. So that's the problem. I always have to find something to go on to paint over, but that's the hardest thing to do the top of the graffiti. And the easier thing. I think all everything in, in making a piece is easy because I love that so 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 it's easy for me maybe like trying to 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 make some detail that you never did so you're trying to to make things uh, more difficult that's maybe harder but it's always a pleasure so it's for me it's not hard so that's that's okay but yeah the more the most difficult thing is to go on the top on the graffiti when you're small that's all <laughs> no that's a hard question because all the cans are good to 
to use, you know, even some like cans from a from a f car factory or things like that are cool to paint, but I think if I have to tell like best cans, I can I cannot do tell like just one. It's not possible for me. I love loop colors, Cobra, uh, Montana Black. I think I think it's because of the pressure just. But uh, when I started, I painted always with uh, 94. So I don't know, I, I try to paint with everything because like uh, when you're on a festival you have to, to fit with what is what, what, what cans are in the festival. So I, I think I love all the cans, but yeah, maybe when there is more pressure, I, I love that more. I don't know, maybe that's, that's it. The best cap for me is no more existing in France. Uh, just like now, I went to the Balkans, I saw a guy, a uh, bigger twack, painting with this cap, the blue, like alien cap, but blue cap uh, from Montana, I think, I'm not sure. But yeah, that cap was really obviously the best one I, I painted with and I don't know why but in France now we don't have more uh, it's it's not even sold anywhere I was searching for it everywhere and they don't have it now so I have like two of them in my room and I just let them like I never use it because it's like the growl of graffiti I think yeah Becoming a good writer is just like doing what you want to do. Um, uh, that's, in fact, that's a special question because a hard question. Because uh, if you want to, to do graffiti, like uh, to, to start graffiti, you have to do it on your own, like because you love that, because you love to paint on the wall, and not because you saw someone painting and you you find it uh, like uh, that's that's a style like uh, that's cool to put uh, on Instagram that I do graffitis and uh, stuff like that to have likes and, or things like that because graffiti is now not exploding but it's starting to be uh, an art on the the move I think so there is a lot of people trying to do graffitis but not with their heart so you have to do it with, with your heart you have to you, you don't have to uh, to be to be uh, to, to have a too big ego and uh, you have to stay away from the troubles in graffiti because there is too much troubles I always say that it's dick stories like who have the big biggest dick here so you have to stay away from the troubles you have to do it with your heart you have to try to work a lot of on, on it so that's the best way to start graffiti and to do graffiti you have to to look at the others write writers and other paintings you have to to see how they manage to do their things you have to, to try to do your own style and not take it, taking it from the others. You can take, of course, uh, some effects, some things because you, you find it beautiful, but you have to try to do it by you, your, yourself to make it uh, your own way to do the effect from another guy. You have to, you have to work, that's it. You have to work with your heart and to not to be alone, but to to do that with your own mind. I think that do graffiti. That's good.
well, that's most uh, that's even more difficult to how to start graffiti. Uh, to how to be a good graffiti writer. Um, a good graph can be. All, all graffitis are good, and in fact, because uh, like uh, you can do shitty graffiti, but you you do it with your heart because you just want to paint and not maybe to do like uh, the best wild style in the world. Even the the the, the smallest throw up can be the best graffiti, you know. Mm, a good graffiti is made, yeah, the same thing. It made it's made with the the heart and. Uh, it's just that you can be like the, the the most drunk people in the world and doing the graffiti really shitty. It can be really good graffiti just because you did it like because you wanted to do it and that's all. So yeah, that's a it's a good graffiti, I think. Oh, uh, of course, like everyone, I have a lot of anecdotes and stuff. Uh, f I don't know, like funny anecdote is uh, I was in Paris with a guy chilling and um, I just came to Paris with all my bags and things like that. We get drunk with my friend and then go going, going, coming back to his house and uh, doing graffitis on the road and he was um, he was with my bag he, he took my bag with all my stuff in there and I have I had another bag with me and he were making a graffiti then the cops arrived arrested him and he said me like go run and things like that and I ran and the cops arrested him so and um, he, he, all, he, he had my bag with him and the cops told him like, do you know this girl, uh, where she is going? She was like, no, I don't know her, no problem. And they were like, just, they even didn't want it to see what he was tagging, I, I think. But they were like, can you open your bag to see uh, if there is drugs inside and things like that. So they opened the bag and there, was, there were all my underwear there, so that was... That was funny and <laughs> so they were like t telling to him like okay so you really don't know that girl so that's your underwear he was like okay i know this girl i wanted to hang out with her it was a lie and to to uh, to make her being my girlfriend or things like that so the cops were telling like okay we don't do anything go find her and uh, have a good uh, good time with her chill and hang out and things like that that's never happening in graffiti normally <laughs> like just if cops arrest you and you're doing graffiti they just take you to, to the police it's... and uh, then he we, we joined and uh, the cops passed a second time and they were like uh, out from the windows with with their hands like oh yeah you have to you have to to grab this girl and uh, it will be okay fine go my man i was like what the fuck so yeah that's a funny anecdote i think but uh, i have a lot everyone have a lot of anecdotes it's just a lot of drunk anecdotes too so i have to write it in a paper to remember Oh, uh, I think the world graffiti scene is obviously great everywhere. Everywhere you go, there is a lot of graffiti writers. Not maybe in the small cities, but there is even in the small cities there is like one guy doing like shitty things or not. But there is always one guy from from a small city. So there is graffiti guys everywhere in the world and that's so cool it's like you can go in a city and you know that you will have a friend there because he's doing graffiti so that's cool i think it's growing growing up more and more the, the graffiti scene i think it's 
it's going to grow to grow up more and more and uh, I I hope it will be like just more recognized on the world but I think it's it's going to to, to, to be like that yeah so yeah I think just I don't know how, what to say but I think like yeah the, the, the graffiti scene on the world is great just great I love that I love graffiti I love that. Oh, I love the both. I love street and, and drum writings, but it's not, evidently, it's not the same uh, way to, to paint. Uh, drum writing is always chilly, you're drinking beers, smoking, cigarettes or marijuana, what you want. Uh, you're staying a lot, like chilling yeah, with people and doing your graffiti with a lot of time. That's cool. It's a cool way to, to paint and the streets are different, like you're on your own mind, doing like your, your things, your tags, uh, with your music, uh, working on the street uh, by night. It's not the same way, but I, I love the both. I cannot, I think you cannot, uh, that's, we, we go back to that point to be a good graffiti writer. You cannot do one and don't do the both. You have to do the both. If you don't do, like, if you're just doing jams, like legal walls, and you don't do street writing, you cannot have this, this, this thing, I don't know how what to say, but this, this way to paint, uh, like, easy and uh, doing, uh, I don't know, but you, you cannot have the real way to paint if you don't do streets. And if you do just streets, I think you cannot do I think you can, but it's more hard to do good and big graffitis with like a lot of colors, uh, a lot of details, like trying to to make it better, to, I don't know, to work uh, like with a lot of time of, on your graffiti, so I think you, you have to do the both to, to be a good graffiti writer, so I like the both. Oof, uh, impossible to say something uh, with that. The, the both are, are cool. But I, I just think that uh, underground graffiti was made... Um, old graffiti writers made these things with not a lot, I don't know how to explain, but they had to find like some cans, were shitty cans, they had to find some some walls, uh, they, they didn't have the same way to do graffiti, so I just think that the mainstream graffiti is now different because we have a lot of ways to do graffiti, we have a lot of different cans, we have a lot of uh, Hall of Fames, uh, we can express, we can do what, what we want everywhere in fact, but I just think that uh, it's different and men who do um, uh, the new generation who do like underground graffiti in the mainstream scene like just uh, I don't know how to explain but just doing like chrome and black because it's like back in the days you know uh, I do like underground I want to want to be like the old graffiti writers you will never be like them because you, it's not the same way. You, you can find your own chrome and go to buy it in the shop and it's, it's uh, easy, you have the money to do that. Uh, people don't see the things like it was before, so you cannot be an, under, an underground graffiti, graffer, graffiti writer uh, on the mainstream scene. And the people who are trying to do that now, I think it's just to have the fame just to, to to try to like yeah to to do like yeah i'm like back in the days you know i'm so so old in my head and things like that i don't like the people who do that it's like lying to to themselves and lying to the other people 
but the in fact like the old guys who do like underground graffiti in now they lived the underground graffiti so that's normal that's their way to do graffiti and that's in their heads that's the like what they like and that's okay for me it's their their life but it's just for the the young guys who want to do like old guys you cannot really be like like underground guy you never you you will be you will never be an underground guy that's not possible but i love the both thing and i love to see like all pictures of underground graffitis it's really like it have uh, this this feeling this i don't know how to say but when you see this old picture you in fact you want to 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 have these old, old pictures but it's just like it's marvelous but mainstream graffiti is maybe more easier you can do more things you can work more on your graffiti so that's a good way to the both are cool <laughs> i'm sorry i'm always thinking they uh, telling that the both are cool but that's true cruise okay um so my i've got a lot of crews that's the fact i've got 12 crews and that's all my families and so i am I'm, I'm thinking that you can have just like one crew or not any crew it can be like uh, your way or of saying graffiti like i don't want to be part of all this bullshit and things like that because um, there is guys thinking like that because i know like in paris there is a lot of crews and then there are, in fact it's the same crews but just with some guys different and things like that so i can understand that you don't want to have crew or you just want to have one uh, crew of your friends uh, just friends who are always with you but I see that from a different way, it's like I have all my families that I met in all these uh, places where I went, so with all these daddies from the cruise, and um, I, I'm thinking that if I'm in all these crews, it's not for anything, you know, because I, I worked a lot, I did a lot of things, and maybe these bosses of the crew and they, they obviously they, they were thinking about what what they were doing when they put me in the crew so yeah i'm proud of it and um, yeah that's that's all my families and um, i i love them all of them and uh yeah i was saying that you can have a crew and in this crew like you maybe don't know all the people in the crew and uh, maybe in that crew there will be like one guy who don't like you I have one crew like that with like one or two guys who hate me i don't know why but i think like in a family you can have like this all these people with who you're chilling and with who you are you have a great feeling and things like that and you can have this like yeah old aunts uh, who don't like you and uh, she lives far away and uh, she don't want to see your face but she's on the family and that's that's it you have to fit with that and it's it's okay if, if you don't want to go away from the family and that's that's over so yeah i want to uh, i will i will big up all my crews so the first is the QV crew, yeah, it's the my my um, my crew that I created. Uh, it's there is the TLS crew who were my first crew, but it's the crew from France and not from Germany. It's not the same from France and Belgium. There is uh, after that there was the PSG crew, my third crew from Paris uh, with really chilly guys who. Uh, who let me who made me discovering Paris and 
with who I, I was chilling a lot. And after that, you know, in Paris, it's going really uh, e not easily, but fast. So there was the HL HLM crew, the GB crew, the um, uh, just in, in the time I don't know. Of after it was really really fast. So there was the I, I, there was the DTC crew, and after. This crew from Chile, S45. Uh, there was OVK and um, and uh, FPK. Uh, and the more most recent crew were GBR. That's a real family for me. For me, GBR, but the same. Not from Germany, but from, but from France. And uh, ACST crew from Paris and Bandidos crew. The last one, and uh, big up my family, my friends. I I love you all. Big her. Uh, my inspirations were how to say that. Uh, it was uh, when I started. I didn't have. I had a phone, but I didn't have uh, Instagram on it, so uh, it was not from the internet. It was uh, from my city, Nantes, in France. There was uh, these old graffiti writers, EBS crew. Not old, you're not old, my friends. Uh, it's okay. Um, but they, they were they were doing uh, big frescoes on the Hall of Fame in Nantes, and it was like so beautiful and all it's always really beautiful so yeah this EBS crew I know in in Nantes there was Persu uh, evidently a girl Miss Veneno uh, it was the first girl I saw painting so that it was like wow and she was doing and she is always doing great things uh, and I think in my inspirations there was obviously my my first friends in graffiti who it's like my my daddies you know who, who learned me how to how to paint. There was a uh, really you're on my heart, bro. Uh, Q2 and uh, these uh, who learned me really how to paint, how to make like straight lines, uh, how to managed to, to do good things I think yeah it was my inspirations and maybe if, I think there was a lot of inspirations but yeah EBS crew Q2 and uh, this from yeah not uh, Angers cities in France and uh, after when I had internet uh, internet not <laughs> Instagram uh, there was an Instagram, I was always looking at the pieces of uh, Raus from Slovenia. Uh, there was uh, Boogie, evidently. Uh, uh, Rams, I think it was his name. Taste, too, who is like, so beautiful. He does so beautiful things. And I think, yeah, it came from there, maybe. And after, like, yeah, you know, with Instagram, you can see so much things. So it's the inspiration. Inspiration comes from everywhere. So that's the fact. I've 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 got a lot of plans, uh, evidently, because I'm I'm young. So I, I have. I have and I want to do a lot of things like doing big murals, doing uh, shitty flops and doing a lot of things everywhere in first in Europe and maybe uh, after in a, not maybe but after in uh, all the world but I just want to paint everywhere and just to to, to see how it managed to go in every city in, in the world and so uh, I want to travel more uh, I want to paint more, I want to work on my paintings, uh, I want 
to do graffiti as fuck and um, I want to work on the, this, this place of evidently women's in graffiti and in arts in general because uh, I'm, I don't see myself as a feminist but but there is a real problem with girls in graffiti and you know that guys and you're like just you guys you have to to think about that to think that a girl in graffiti is just a graffiti writer and she deserves her her place like every graffiti writer in the world it's like normal thing and she is not just a piece of meat so think about that so there is that big project I want to work on not concerning just graf girls on graffiti but girls on art I want to go to every country in Europe and seeing like how, how it's going in these countries with girls it's just like in fact it was just for me at the beginning but now I, I want really to like share it to other people like look how it is because a lot of people don't know, don't uh, see what is going on through the world. So, yeah, I want to work on that that thing to, yeah, to see and to, to, to make understand to guys that the girls are enough good too in graffiti and in arts. That's a big project. And yeah, of course, doing graffiti. Graffiti, 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 always graffiti and everywhere and traveling and doing paintings and ah, all of it. Uh, best, I cannot name just like three best graffiti writers and evidently I will name my friends because if I don't they will be mad at me so it's not the uh, Cool. but I don't know like there is really there is this guy Persu uh, in, in Nantes who is like just doing all he wants he just painting a lot of things it's like really beautiful he can do like just a small piece and uh, on, on an ab abandoned place uh, it will be like really so beautiful and he can do a big hall of fame with a lot of details and things like that it's always beautiful and he's doing like more paintings on a year than you have days on a year like it's so what the fuck man <laughs> stop that you're always like doing too much things so that's one of the yeah one of the best graffiti writers i know uh, and uh, i prefer to say that the best graffiti writers are always people that you know because you cannot say that a guy is a good graffiti writer if you don't know him because it's a way of mind too so yeah perçu I think like all, all the EBS crew is like best graffiti writers <laughs> I know. There is a Fraise in Paris because it's like on the hurt man doing so beautiful thing and so from so long time beautiful trains, beautiful paintings. I don't know what to say. Yeah. So much guys. You know, I I know that I will like forgot a lot of them, but yeah, you are all best graffiti writers on the world, man. And I love uh, Rouse too, and I know the guy a little bit, so I know that it's good. It's a good guy. Yeah, my all inspirations are all good graffiti writers, so it's okay. Yeah, I think, yeah, I don't know what to say, but yeah, there is so much good graffiti writers, I cannot say just three names or even ten names. You're all good men. Yeah. Oh, just, I forgot. Matsi, evidently, because she's a girl, so big, big.
big up to her and she's doing like f so what the fuck things it's so beautiful so yeah Matsy is a best graffiti writer in the world for the women's yeah big up I want to come back to Belarusia, Russia, when I was when I was really young, because evidently I was young, so I didn't paint it there. So yeah, I want to, to go there. I want to yeah, same thing. I want to go come back to United Emirates, to Africa. I don't really mind about United States like a lot of people, but. In fact, I want to paint everywhere, so that's uh, uh, yeah. Ev everywhere I, I, I wasn't. I want to go. That's all. <laughs> uh, no, I never have troubles. Re real troubles. Uh, I've get like uh, I had to run or things like that. It was. It's okay. Sometimes police arrested me, and it was. I had never real trouble, that, no, it's not, uh, not as I remember, so it's, it was always okay with the police, I hope it will be like that for a long time, yep. Yeah, out of graffiti, I, I yeah, I do, in, even in graffiti I do characters, so, I tried to do it on a canvas, I did big canvas, but in fact what I do on canvas has nothing to see with what I'm doing on the walls, and I'm doing, I, I'm not doing, I started to, to make tattoos, and so sometimes I'm like drawing things to make tattoos, but when I'm drawing something, even if it's for a canvas or for a tattoo, I try to do it on the wall, so uh, everything is coming for the graffiti, everything is, yeah, graffiti style, so, yeah. Both, both. I cannot <laughs> cannot say something. I, I, I said it just before, you cannot do one and don't do the other. So the both, yeah. The both have the same uh, the have another uh, differences. Yeah, the both have differences. And like yeah, you have to do the both. And the both uh, are great and different for your mind and for your soul for everything you want to do, if you want to get drunk and do illegal thing, or not getting drunk and do illegal thing, evidently, sorry, but yeah, if, uh, I, in fact, I, I love trains, I love painting trains, and um, I love walls, I love trying to do throwies, I love trying to do tags, Stickers, markers, I don't know, I love everything, so I cannot say one of the both, just the two. Uh, in fact, I don't see the question like that, because vandalism can be art. Uh, but in fact, I don't even like the both names because, like, graffiti isn't vandalism. It can be, but in fact, it's not the process of graffiti, I think. And uh, graffiti can be art, but it's not art because uh, it's art, but it's it's graffiti, you know, it's not like uh, museum art, it's not street art, it's not the same. Graffiti has his own mind, his own soul, his own process, yeah. So, it's not art or vandalism, it's just graffiti and shit. That's all. 
I can answer that. Freestyle. Oh, freestyle as fuck. But uh, sketches, you have to do some sketches because I think I usually do like one sketch, after with that sketch I will do graffiti, and after I will do just freestyles about that sketch. And when I will be mad of all my freestyles because it start to be like boring, it's a little bit the same and things like that, I do another sketch and it goes over like that. So freestyle is the best way, but you have to, to sketch. In fact, it's the best way to to work on your letters, to see how you can manage to do like some effects or some to how to put your letters, like uh, how to destroy it or how to combine your letters. You have to sketch. I think it's a really important thing, and I think I don't do it uh, and uh, not anymore. But I don't do it too uh, too much uh, as much. I need to do more sketches, but yeah, I love freestyle, of course. Whoa! <laughs> oh no, I, uh, I can't even tell the balls because the train are so cool, man. Uh, but you know like in fact if you go from a country to another country the walls will be the same but if you go from a country to another country the trains will be different and there will be different colors and different ways to go to paint the train different uh, security guys or maneuvers to do the security and things like that so in fact I think that the train is more interesting but the walls uh, you, you can do more walls that then you do that, that you do trains because the, the walls are more easy to do like you can do walls when you want to train some mission it's like so so interesting so uh, I will say that I prefer the trains but but, but uh, I do more walls than trains. Fat for the filling and fat for the fat caps tagging the walls and skinny for the outline and for the small tags on the walls. Both the same both. I think I used to paint with more high pressure and even uh, if, if you want to say like Mad Max high pressure it's like so good uh, but low pressure can be can be useful sometimes but I will say high pressure because it's more interesting it's more I don't know I don't know it's more cool high pressure than low pressure I used to, to write more solo because uh, because it's more easy like you, you want to go paint so you go paint you don't have to wait for your friends or, or to say to your friends that uh, yeah I'm going to paint to send a lot of messages uh, waiting for the answers or things like that <clears throat> I think I prefer to go painting alone even for, for for legal things or for illegal things because when I'm alone for like riding on the streets to tag and things like that I think it's more it's it's not more easy because you don't have someone to check you or things like that but it's more 
I don't know, in the mine, um, for, for me it's more simple, uh, you don't have to mine for anything, waiting for anyone, you do like what you want and you just put your tag everywhere, you can get uh, drunk alone, like chilling uh, in all the city is yours, you know, so yeah, I think more solo, but but I love uh, painting with people, you know, like uh, finding um, all your friends in the same place and doing a big, big, big fresco. That's really nice thing too, but I think I, I usually do that less because it's more easy uh, to go solo and more um, when you when you paint solo, sometimes it's more easy to like really be in your piece and work on your piece I talk for legal walls but yeah you have more time to focus on your work and to, to progress with that so I would say solo but I don't miss your friends Uh, music. Uh, I listen. To, I listen to uh, to a lot of things, but mostly rap. Evidently, like new school and old school rap. There is no. For me, there is no difference. Uh, no, there is difference, but I like the both. And like, yeah, mostly rap. And uh, I used to listen a lot to techno, but now less. And um, I don't know, I, I love everything, but yeah, I will put like rap, maybe dub, just yeah, rap on the top, but everything is okay with me. I just, I'm not really fan of metal, but it can be, there, there can be good metal things, so it's okay. I listen to everything. Uh, I music obviously really influenced my drawings, but I don't know how. Mm, I don't know the way, but uh, I don't know. Maybe like you, if you if you like listen to to techno, hard techno, you'll do pieces like more faster, maybe. <laughs> but uh, when you listen to chilly things, you'll be like more chilly too. I don't know, but. Yeah, I always listen to music when I'm uh, I'm writing. It's it's uh, it's an obligation, I think, uh, for for me. Like um, even when you go painting on the streets by night, you need to have like your little music, your your world, and painting, listen to music, and that's the music is, uh, is the same. It's a part of life. It's uh, you need music. So that's that's all. There is a lot, but I will say like there is this song from Sake Zaka, who is a writer too. Uh, it's called <laughs> "Je me déteste" in French. It's like uh, in, in in English, it's like I, I hate myself. Uh, who, which that, that song I, I love and uh, I listened to that from some years ago, and it never is. Bore, bore, it's, it's never boring for me, so that's that would be on the top, I think, of these songs. And this guy, Sake, is really a good, a, a good writer and a good rapper. He has the both, I think. Uh, but I don't know him, but big up. And um, there is this guy, Swift Guad, it's a friend of Sake, evidently, uh, who does like who does real good rap and uh, it, it followed me a lot for graffiti uh, it was a, 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 a rapper that I listened a lot when I started and for my first years of graffiti and now I always listen to him because it's a really good rapper and to maybe to go more in US rap 
or uh, I don't know, there is Oxmoor Puccino for French guys, there is Suicide Boys for uh, American rap. Uh, maybe a lot of others guys, but yeah, I think it's mostly the the the, the better thing, like the the things I like the most, and I listen a lot to Arabic songs too because of my parents, and that's I don't know why, but uh, I love that. It's like making you uh, happy. That's cool. So that's. My favorite music and big up to sake really because it's like i i love this song uh, i hate myself <laughs> it's really cool <sighs> it, it's always changing you know as it's normal man um uh, now listening to that song it's acid arab uh, it's name La Hafla. I'm just, uh, I, I love that song at this moment. It's an Arabic thing too. That's, that's, that's all. <laughs> uh, I've got uh, evidently all this, uh, this, this guys to, to big up my, my friends. Dosam. A real good friend in my heart. Uh, Nap, uh, D is Q2, the same one, the same guys. Uh, Frez, Dink, Tiga, my photographer that I love the most. Uh, I, I don't know, Shake, Gom. Mm. So, so much people that I uh, I love, yeah, I love you all, but you you, you know, you know who, uh, who I love, you know you who I, I hate, and uh, then uh, evidently we got to all my crews, but I said it, and uh, just uh, do what you love, do graffiti, and uh, be kind, be respectful, all that sort of things which are normal things in life and stop uh, chasing girls for what they're doing that's all just let girls being girls and do what they want to do and uh, in fact that's all big up guys and uh, of course subscribe to uh, graffiti life uh, like the video and uh, then follow that because it's like good thing in in the Balkans a good initiative the first one I think so you have to see that and for the French people look at what is happening here in Croatia in the Balkans look uh, how it's good guys here big up to to Smack to Lunar big up to Hades big up to Twek Big up to you guys because you're cool guys. Big up to Blaze for the graffiti life. And that's that's all. Bye guys. <laughs>